Build it. Only five years. Only five years. But can you imagine how many workers had been work on the construction? At least 10,000 people during five years, they had been work on the construction. The construction starts around 532 and it takes only five years. They completed the uh, construction in 537. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it was mainly a church. It was mainly a church and it was serving as a church to the Christian believers during 916 years. When the city, when Istanbul conquered by the Turks, by the Ottomans, Hagia Sophia became a mosque. And uh, it was used as a mosque during 482 years. By the order of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk in uh, 1935, Hagia Sophia turned into a museum. From 1925 till now, it is using as a museum. Uh, there is a legend which is telling um, about more its history. Uh, there was two architects who had been lived on the south eastern part, of, or, is, or sorry, uh, on the southwestern part of Turkey, and these two architects' names was Antemius and Isidorus. They, they had been lived in two ancient cities. These ancient cities' names uh, were uh, Pyrene and Miletus. When Justinianus I would like to build a worshipping place for God, they came to Istanbul from these ancient cities on the southwestern part of Turkey. Uh, when they came here, they started to work on a plan for Hagia Sophia. Uh, in the night time, when they were working on this plan, they fall in a slab. They fall in a slab. Uh, in the morning, when they woke up, according to the mysteries, uh, they found this plan. It is already completed. They took this plan to the Emperor Justinianus the first, and he likes it so much. He likes it so much. He ordered to build Hagia Sophia according to this plan. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Justinianus the first ordered to bring some materials uh, which was used on the construction of big uh, temples, and uh, for example, they bring some uh, construction material for Hagia Sophia and they use in the construction of uh, Hagia Sophia church. Is there any church before this one? When you have a look to the right side, there are some ruins uh, three meters under the ground level. So uh, the first Hagia Sophia was built at the same point around 360s but it was made of wooden and uh, around uh, 300, 358 uh, the first Hagia Sophia experienced a fire and it was burned completely. The second Hagia Sophia was built at around 4th century. Uh, its walls was, uh, was made of red brick uh, and his stone was made of wooden again. Uh, in the time of an earthquake, it was collapsed. This is the third Hagia Sophia church, which was built at the same uh, area, in this, at the same point. Uh, when you get inside, you are going to see uh, golden mosaics, and uh, there is a gate at the middle, and uh, there is a mosaic which dates back to the 10th and 11th century. This is Empire's Gate at the middle. Uh, for example, Jesus Christ was depicting on these mosaics when he was sitting on the throne, on a throne. 
and he is making his right hand like this. Do you know the meaning of this sign? No? No, no idea? Uh, Alhamdulillah, we are Muslim, right? Yes. Uh, and Christian believers, they have some beliefs. They have the same beliefs. Sorry. And uh, Justinia, sorry, Jesus Christ is going to pray for all the Christian believers at the doomsday. Like we have Shafat belief. We have Shafat belief. Oh. And Jesus Christ is going to pray at the doomsday to forgive all the sins of uh, Christian believers. This is, this means this is. So, with his left hand on these mosaics, he is holding Holy Bible. Holy Bible. And on the left side of the mosaics, there is an angel paintings, which is surrounded by a circle. Uh, this is Archangel Gabriel. On the right side of the throne, uh, there is a woman. This is Mother Mary, Virgin Mary. Uh, it is also possible to see a man, a man on this mosaics who is uh, sitting on the floor and he is depicting there like he is praying to the gods. Uh, why he is praying to the gods? Because he hasn't got any son. He would like to have a son. That's why he is praying to the gods, like, give me a son. He has uh, three daughters. He is one of the Eastern Roman emperors. He is Leo the Sixth. Leo the uh, Sixth. Just uh, let me ask you the meaning of Hagia Sophia. Yes. What it means? I don't know. You don't know. Hagia Sophia means holy wisdom. Holy, holy wisdom, wisdom, right? Uh, there was no lady who was called Sophia or Hagia Sophia. Dear guests, we are going to have a time here. Please, uh, you can have a look inside by yourself. And end of our visit, I will be waiting in our meeting point. Let me show the meeting point. Okay. Okay.